Um, not exactly. This is part 12. Now I thought I'd be finishing out this chorus series, but I got a call today, so here we go. So if you don't know who this tiny little soul is here, this happens to be Bianca. And after that disturbing call I got today, let me share with you Bianca's story. So the story begins sometime in 2011, very early 2012, and we know that because of this. Roughly around May of 2012, this handle, Mommy to Amari, actually appears on Twitter. That Twitter handle actually belonged to Cora Jakes. Now the Twitter handle is not dead, it's just simply deactivated. And just simply by using that Twitter handle, it gives us a rough timeline about when Cora was able to acquire Bianca. And if you're wondering why I'm calling Amari Bianca, it's because that is her actual name. And let me tell you the story about how she and her mother met the Jakes. So according to this anonymous source, Bianca and her mother are from Mexico. Bianca and her mother arrived in the United States and found their way to the Potter's house. And just for reference, back during the Obama administration in 2011, the Department of Homeland Security had a policy that ICE agents were not allowed to go anywhere near churches if migrants so happened to find sanctuary there. Which is a good indication that Bianca and her mother may have found some sort of refuge while being at the Potter's house. But of course, when it comes to Cora Jakes, that's when everything turns left. Now, according to the source that I spoke to, Cora actually built a relationship with Bianca's mother and at times would watch Bianca while the mother was working or doing any other errands. And like the story we've heard many times before, through coercion, Cora was attempting to acquire Bianca. The source let me know that Cora went to her mother, who happens to be Sarita Jakes, and told her that she believed that she would not be able to acquire Bianca. And yes, the source was in the room when that conversation occurred. Now, on April 4th of 2012, Cora actually tweeted that, My husband and I, Sky Ventura, are happy to announce that we have received our baby girl and she is the light of our world. We are thrilled. Not so fast, Cora. She actually didn't legally adopt Bianca at the time. She just simply had got her through a parental guardianship. Kind of sounds like the same thing she did with Michelle and baby Jason. And by the time this image was taken with Cora and Brandon and Bianca, they had already legally were able to take custody of her. And let me tell you how. So some of the information that I'm going to share with you is a bit heartbreaking. Trigger warning, okay? Because Bianca's mother was putting up much needed fight in order to not lose her daughter Bianca, according to this source, allegedly, Cora Jakes went to her mother and explained the situation about Bianca. Sarita Jakes allegedly stepped in, and then poof, Bianca's mother was gone. They deported her. Part 13.